the pirate who learned to value food. To the pirate thunder the happiest thing he did was the gold coins. I was looking for treasure maps all over the world to find all the coffers that were stored on either side of the earth. It was summer and this time I knew that Coco Choco Island was hiding a big trunk with money. The pirate thunder was a very thin man because he ate very badly. He always complained about all the cooks on the boat. Why should we eat? He shouted. I do not like vegetables, I do not like fruit, I do not like fish, or olives. Just like some meat when they roast here in front of it he often said all his crew. The pirate thunder went to bed every night very soon because he was so tired of eating so badly, but he could not see that that was the cause of his discomfort. Days passed and the evil pirates in charge of the pirate thunder were approaching the island Coco Choco. The sea was calm and that made it easier to get there. The afternoon they arrived, the thunder pirate had become angry again with the cook. I do not want zucchini puree. I do not want bananas and apples. Get them out of here. The desperate cook took the food from the cabin of the angry pirate. The only thing that calmed Thunder in those moments were chocolate bonbons, but that was not good for him to feed himself on desserts. When they arrived on the island Coco Choco all evil pirates applauded. They had arrived and now they would take the treasure. They ran down the boat ladder as soon as they landed on the beach. They were carrying shovels to raise the sand and find it. The pirate Thunder wanted to be the lucky one that touched the chest, but shortly to raise the shovel four times already was tired and could do no more. You, cabin boy, take my shovel, said the pirate Thunder. Sure, my lord. You are without energy. You have not eaten well in several days, said the cabin boy. Let me. I have not been hungry. The most important thing is gold, said the pirate thunder. When they found the chest there were a lot of coins, but they could not distribute them because a hellish rain began to fall on them. At the beach Coco Choco began a great storm and could not return to the ship because it had escaped to the sea because it was not well tied. So, what can we do now? Cried the pirates as they looked at the pirate thunder. We have a lot of gold. Let's go inside the island and find where to sleep and eat. And the pirate who learned to value food like that went all over the island, but found nothing. That island had only palm trees and lakes. The pirates were becoming very tired and hungry. They could not walk. They hardly had the strength to even talk until the pirate thunder was beginning to be hungry. What a suffering! The pirate thunder was very disconcerted, looked at his gold coins and thought. So much money in my hands and how bad I am. I thought the best thing was the money and now I understand that the important thing is rest and food. When the rain subsided, a few pirates went to retrieve the ship and were able to eat the food that had not been spoiled to recover strength. The pirate thunder ate lots of fruit and a lot of fish and began to find better. From there he began to behave well with the cook and to thank the food every day.